Welcome back to Apparently I Know Nothing. Today, because apparently I know nothing, uh, we're just going to have some fun. Tests out some uh, some new things. And we're going to do this Coca-Cola logo with this here new palm router. Cheap little bastard I found on Amazon. So if you want one, I'll put a link in the description below. You can feel free to check that out if you want to. My wife made me this nice little stencil of the Coca-Cola logo. We are going to put it on this here piece of wood. As far as what kind of wood this is, you know what? I really don't know. I don't remember. I bought it a long time ago. All I do remember is that it was a fence post. Or a fence, fencing. Fencing? Like I said, I don't know nothing. It's a piece of fence, y'all. And then we're going to take the logo onto here and we're going to carve it out. So let me put you in a hyperlapse and we'll go ahead and get straight on this. All right, so as I was doing this, I realized I didn't explain anything. So what you saw in the hyperlapse was me putting the logo down on the piece of wood and then putting some packing tape over it. Now, the packing tape is going to allow the... Oh, I got a mess going on here. It will allow the um, palm router to be able to slide a lot easier on this piece of wood. Now, I do have a wider base a universal base mount for this coming but uh, it's not going to be here until next week so this is ultimately just a test piece just like if you follow me on Instagram this piece was a test piece now I like to try and do test pieces unfortunately I did not film this and this was just on a uh, piece of regular 2x6 pretty basic pretty simple pretty easy but my wife did make me this stencil using her Cricut and then I just traced it on there and uh, went from there so you can use any kind of stencil you want to do you can print out a piece of paper and then adhere it down with you know the spray adhesive stick it and then put some tape over it like this to hold it down now this will also help prevent some of the tear out that we might get from this wood as well I mean that's what I've been told but apparently I know nothing so we're gonna really find this out doing this test piece and if you like it let me know in the comments below so let's uh, go ahead and get the right bit in here because the bit that I have in here now is a little bit too large for these uh, smaller details and I also still need to figure out whether or not I'm going to do a 3d or if I'm just gonna carve the letters as an inset that's a tough call I really don't know I'll talk to my wife we'll discuss it we'll come back and uh, you'll see it on the hyperlapse maybe I should do the stipling do the 3d letter and the the stipling stippling stipling stippling how do you say this how do you say it yeah let me know in the comments below because <laughs> that'll translate well Maybe we'll do this to this, just to see what she looks like. Of course, we're, we're not going to leave the letters charred like that, but, or should we? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Alright y'all, I'm sorry I couldn't give you a better angle on that. Um, maybe when the new base shows up, you'll be able to actually see the carve a lot better during those hyperlapses. This is what we've got so far. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stifle out a lot of this extra. 
instead of flattening it all out. That way it gives it a little texture. And we're gonna staple out pretty much all the way to the perimeter of this board. After we uh, get all the stippling in there, stippling, 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 stippling. We'll go ahead and burn it, hopefully, with these really narrow pieces right here, over here with some of these letters. Uh, you know, hopefully everything will hold up. I tried to stay, when it got really thin, I tried to stay wider. I, I don't know, man. Like I said, this is my first time. Oh, look at that. I totally missed a spot. Holy crap. Let's remedy that situation. Holy sweet Moses. We're not going to even hyperlapse this one. We're just going to plug it in and go real quick. And just so that you guys are aware, I do actually wear these things while I'm doing this. A lot of times, I don't know if it showed up on film, but I was like way down here yonder. Basically sucking the sawdust right into my freaking nasal passages and my lungsies. Oh, yeah, in case you're wondering, I use a Kirby vacuum, and uh, that's what's hooked up to my uh, router. If I get this light on here, here we go. doing this it's loud right hon yeah. can you hear me what? I can't hear you what? What? what what now we're all caught up here y'all we've got these uh, we'll go ahead and stifle some of this stuff now with the stippling well we change out the bit let's 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 do that and then uh, I, I keep running the vacuum, so we'll put you on a hyperlapse on that as well, and uh, so you don't have to listen to the noise. Oh, so let's change out the bit, and uh, we'll get right back to it. Use that bit right there. Yes, sir, Joe Bob! Here we go, everyone. This is what it looks like after the stippling. We still have the uh, vinyl sticker on here. We're gonna take this off. And we'll come back and burn it a little bit later. Still looking pretty good. This vinyl from that cricket holds onto this wood pretty darn good. Be happy about that. Without the vinyl. It's got a pretty cool texture to it. We're gonna go ahead and uh, 
I'm gonna have a drink and then we'll come back and burn it. Who knows? I might just drink a Coke. We're back. I had to go buy a new uh, a new torch for detail because the other one, well, it sucked. And of course, I got some propane or butane. Butane propane. So we're gonna go ahead and burn this and uh, I had to test it out real quick and unfortunately I didn't have the camera rolling. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, hopefully the uh, camera will zoom in a little bit for you and we'll go ahead and burn this. Actually, I need it up off this mat. So let's, uh, let's raise it up with the AIKN. So let's do this, shall we? Shall we? I think we shall. In case you're wondering, this was a wood fence post made out of cedar. I'm not sure if I mentioned that earlier or not, but it smells fantastic. So burning these edges will actually soften up the edge line, thus having to keep us from sanding or cutting or even trimming the perimeter of this we can pretty much leave it as is because, it'll, like I said, it'll just soften up. Ladies and gents, this sign is almost done. <laughs> like I said, I want to clean up the letters so that they pop really good. And uh, we'll do that with the Dremel. Let's see if I can grab this thing and show you. Look at that. My phalanges! I won't be able to do a lot of palm routing if I burn my phalanges. Alright, there we go. We've got black edges. Now, that thing is hot. Hot, hot, hot! Now we're going to go ahead and clean this up. We're actually going to use the Dremel with the flex, flex shaft attachment. And I have, let me show you in my mess of stuff over here. Yeah just barely off camera I have this nice little set that I bought off of Amazon link in the description below if you want to check these out it comes in different grits which is fantastic as you can see so we've got 80 grit we've got 120 grit 220 grit 400 grit 600 grit and 1000 grit we could take this thing up to baby butt smooth I, I don't I I don't know why I said that, but we could. We're going to use 80 grit though, and we're going to get down and deep into these crevices. So I'll go ahead and put this on my flex shaft, get my flex shaft attached to my Dremel, and we'll put you on a hyperlapse so that this thing will just speed right on by. What do you all think of that? Still need to add some stain and uh, we're gonna go outside and uh, stain it real quick and color good. Oh yeah, I just had to see what you guys were seeing so I had to turn the camera around and grab it. That's looking nice. 
Let me know what you think in the comments below. Would you hang a sign up like this in your home? All right, everyone. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I got to try and do this one handed because my mount is gone. It broke it. I mean, that, that's a different mount than what I use in the house. I use a ram mount in the house. So, this is what we're using polycritic, polycrylic water based clear mat finish. Why? Because I like clear mat. Test sprays. Spray. Oh, I'm not even showing you what I'm doing. Sorry. We got to hit this from multiple angles because of the way the holes are. And there we go. We'll let this dry. And come back and hit the back since we did torch the back but uh, just wanted to give you one more close-up of this there it is y'all the coca-cola sign made out of a cedar plank with some stippling. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. If you like this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of these crazy, apparently I know nothing videos. And we'll see you on the next one.